Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX UK, and this is a video to prove that um, if you think you've bricked your Mini SI4732 uh, radio, you don't always have to open it up in order to access the uh, buttons at the back of the radio board um, and uh, do a reset. Um, what I recommend doing instead before you try to open up your radio is to uh, try reinstalling the uh, custom firmware for this uh, radio. Now what it is, the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because I'm seeing uh, a fair few comments on tutorial videos on how to install the custom firmware on the Mini SI4732 radio and some people are saying oh um, I bricked my radio it's useless I can't get it working again so on and so forth and I'm gonna have to open it up well like I said before you do right try reinstalling the firmware the reason is because um, sometimes the tool that we have to use to install the custom uh, firmware the flash download to uh, flash download tool sometimes doesn't always uh, work properly so what i uh, recommend is that if it's acting funny just exit the program and restart it like uh, restart it again okay so that so what i'm going to show you um here is um just a pretend scenario that i have uh, bricked this radio okay so i've got the flash download tool here all set up i've got my mini si4732 radio um connected uh to usb okay and we're going to try and brick the radio. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, erase the firmware on this so that we can do, like I said, a pretend scenario of bricking the radio. Let's click here, erase. Okay, and we should have a black display. There we go. All right, so let's pretend that we've um, installed the, uh, you know, the new custom firmware, um, you know, on our um, SI4732 radio, the mini radio, right? and uh yeah and you think oh everything's gone fine uh, so on and uh, so forth right okay so uh, the screen on the top left has told us that the um, erasing process has finished okay but let's pretend that our um firmware flashing process has uh, finished okay so what we're going to do is what we usually do after finishing the firmware flashing process we disconnect the usb cable from the radio we switch it off okay you can see the switch there switch it off it's in off position we're gonna put it back on okay and oh no look at this nothing no display whatsoever our radio is useless now okay time to leave a dislike on that uh, tutorial video time to send a nasty comment to that uh, youtuber time to send more nasty comments on social media platforms uh, criticizing that uh, youtuber i'm gonna throw this radio away i'm gonna send it back i'm gonna say it's the most useless radio ever so on and so forth calm down take a break okay and then come back and what we're going to do is we're going to try reinstalling the firmware again okay so what we're going to do is we're going to switch off our radio here again let's connect the usb again okay and we're going to switch on our radio again right okay so you see the light there the charging light that means it's connected by uh usb okay so your radio is still fine yeah it just needs the firmware to be installed properly okay right and over here on the right, as you can see, I've got the files ready to install on my um, Mini SI4732 uh, radio. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do the installation process as we should, right? Um, and uh, hopefully our radio will be working again. So everything, all the uh, all the files I've got in order here, bootloader partitions, uh, the Mini INO file, also the alpha numerical values on the right here. Okay, so let's begin. Let's press a start here. Okay. And as you can see here on the top left, right, um, it should be running okay. Right. The firmware flashing process, yes, I can see the installation bar going there. And there we are. Look, when the magic words is stop and, se and uh, send flash finish has appeared, that means that the uh, flashing process has completed and hopefully successfully okay then so what we're going to do next is we're going to disconnect our usb connection we're going to turn off the radio okay we're going to turn it back on hey look you know our radio has come back to life you know hooray happy days the uh mini si4732 radio is the best radio ever and and that youtuber that did that tutorial video is the best youtuber ever there you go right okay then so there we are you know this this is just to show that a radio you think you are bricked because i don't think it's actually bricked right all it means all it's all that's happened is that the firmware hasn't been installed properly and it can be recoverable okay you can 
um, install the firmware again on your radio all right so there so that's you know just uh, showing uh, that um, just to um, you know just to give a few uh, a bit of information what I found out uh, out there researching this radio there's uh, I know two versions of this radio there's an 8 megabyte version and 16 megabyte uh, that refers to the memory of the radio um, from what I know you cannot install the six um, the full 16 megabyte versions of the firmware onto the 8 megabyte ones because there's no space you need the specific 8 megabyte uh, versions okay so uh, that also as well I know that there are units like this one here mine which have the inverted uh, screen okay and even you try to install the other custom uh, firmwares not meant for the inverted screen the screen will come out in uh, reverse okay or inverted um, I happen to be one of the lucky ones in inverted commas that have the inverted screen uh, unit of the mini si4732 radio and I needed to find the specific version uh, you know of the custom um, firmware for my radio for the inverted radio uh, unit so I found one it's on the Facebook group I will leave a link in the description below of the one I uh, put together as well right it was just ch I just changed some files over from a from a um, uh, from a firmware version I didn't actually create it myself okay and yeah as you can see it's uh, working okay fine and there yeah, and just that is just to let you be aware that not all these of these mini si4732 radios that are made are the same right in terms of the hardware itself and nor would it be the same for the firmware that uh, you will want to install uh, on it okay so just that so uh, there we are hope you can get your radio uh, back to life without the need to uh, open it up okay then thank you very much for watching